Now I right click, go back to options, and I'm only showing you one example here of many hundreds of examples that you could work with. I'm going to double click on company XYZ into my standard settings. I'm going to go to settings here. And now, if you look, these are all the categories where, as a CAD manager, I can go in and I can start changing layers, line types, line weights. There's lots of information here. And that's just for drafting. If you look, annotation views, balloons, bills of materials, calculations, detail views, dimensioning, drafting, hiding hidden detail, whole charts, mechanical symbols. There's all of this that can be edited tweaked and changed around. I'm going to show you one basic one on the drafting here and I've got center line there which is actually layer am underscore seven. I've also got center line narrow. I'm going to change that to a different layer. So if I click there and scroll down there's my center layer. It hasn't got any associated objects or a description. I'm just going to OK that. But you can see that I've made a change. Center line now uses the center layer. So if I now OK that, I'll apply it first, I'll OK it, and then I'll OK it there, apply it there, and OK it there. Now, let's say I want to draw a center line. If I click here now, I've got center lines here. Center line wide and center line there. So if I click there, it automatically goes to AM7 because of the way that things are set up. But if I want to draw a center line here, let's just draw a straight center line here and see what happens. If I click from there to there, can you see the color is different to AM7? If I select that center line and right click and go to object properties, you'll see that it's actually been drawn on the center layer because of the standard drafting settings where I changed it previously. It's not actually on AM7 like you would expect it to be. However, if I close the properties palette and now hit escape and go here to draw a center line, let's use that one there, and then I click, let's say, from there to there. I didn't actually click on that layer very well there, so I'll go back and I want to go to center line wide. That's better. Now you'll notice that it's giving me some funny commands here enter object key and things. That's because it doesn't know which layer to use. That's why I was getting that window instead of drawing a line. So what I've got to do there is I've actually got to go to AM7 here. And then if I click here, let's try another center line and see what happens. There's the AM7. But look, if I go and draw a center line again, it defaults back to my center layer. You can see the color is the same. If I go back to object properties, you can see it's still using that center layer like so. So let's close the properties palette there and let's hit escape. Let's right click now and go back to options again. And what I'll do this time is I'll double click on company XYZ, go back to settings, go back to drafting. I'm going to change that center back to AM7. So let's go up, let's find AM7 all the way up there. There it is. Center line narrow. I'll OK that. So that's back to normal. Apply that. OK it. OK it there, apply it and OK it. If I now go to draw a center line, I'll click on center line there like so. Click, click. See the color difference there? It's that darker blue. If I click there, right click and go to object properties, it's back on the AM7 layer. So that's just one small change that I've made to a layer name that gets used for a standard command in AutoCAD Mechanical, in this case, center lines. Think how much you can change with layering, symbology, and annotation. As a CAD manager, there are so many settings and tools where you can standardize your projects, your workflows, and become a lot more effective and a lot more productive. It's very quick and it's very easy. All you've got to do is right click, go to options, and go to AM standards here, create your own standard, double click, and you can go in and change those settings whenever you need to. As a cab manager, it's in your best interest to do that, to make sure that everything works.